Hello and welcome to the Godot Ovani Footstep plugin tutorial. I'm going to be working with Godot 4.2.1 as an example, but it should work with just about everything uh, 4.00 plus. I'll start up a new project real quick. And while that's going, here's the zip file that you should have downloaded, Ovani Footsteps plugin Godot version number here, dot zip. We can, we can extract this. And this will take a second, but it's, it, it's just got all the sound files you need and all that, so that's, that's cool and good. And now we can just drag this folder into our Godot project, right there. Now it'll import it, and amazing. Okay, here we are. So now we've got the Auto Footsteps plugin at the root of our Godot project. Inside of this folder, you'll find all of the sounds in a folder. We'll find an example scene for us to look at. And then we've got all of the code and icons that go into this plugin. Now in the example scene, I'm going to open it up. And what it comes with are a bunch of um, places to step on and hear sound effects. But it also comes with a template player controller. This guy runs around at, I'm pretty sure it's 5 meters per second, he runs at 10 and crouches at 2.5. And he comes with an auto footsteps uh, component, all already set up. But uh, I'm as an example, I'm going to delete it and show you how to set up uh, one from scratch. You right click on your root, add in a auto footsteps node. Then um, we'll load up the default settings. We've got the default foot profile, which is barefoot. You can find two foot profiles inside of the default sounds folder, barefoot and shoe. In fact, I'm going to change it to shoe because uh, I like shoe better. Okay. Next up, we've got the audio bus, and this is the Godot audio bus that you are playing to. If you want to do special effects and stuff like that, I'd recommend using this system. Next up, we've got the volume slider, and this, instead of working off a percentage like most engines, works in decibels, because Godot likes decibels a lot. Next up, we've got the footstep distance. This is how far your character needs to walk before a footstep sound effect is played. So one footstep, two footstep, he's in the air, so no footstep. Now we've got crouch speed, walk speed, and run speed. I just went over, uh, this character goes 5 meters per second when walking, so I'll set that. 10 meters per second when running, so I'll set that. And 2.5 when crouching. And don't forget to move the auto footsteps component down to the feet, because it needs to know, well, yeah, it needs to be at your character's feet. It'll sound better, and I'm pretty sure it makes it more stable with code. Now we can test it. And lovely. We'll hear, uh quote-unquote medium sounds for walking. We can shift, run, and hear the uh, more hard-hitting sounds. And of course we can crouch. It would take forever for me to run around here crouching, but we've also got uh, jumping, landing, ETC, just all the stuff that will go into it. And again, the big point of this is that it's all automatic. Whatever you've already built should just work immediately, and it's plug-and-play. Other than that quick setup just now. There you are. Hopefully you can just incorporate this into your player, and then it goes. Take care.